Hey, it's your boy Chango coming at you with another video. This one is Try Not to Laugh Stavros Halkias. No idea how to say his name, but I've seen him on my feet a bunch of times and I figured I'd give him a go. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. I'm excited. First of all, Chris Rock and Will Smith, the comedians that were posting about it, it's like, you have nothing in common with Chris Rock. <laughs> yeah, you are right. not, you are only tech, the way like some guy says he's a podcaster, yeah. some guy off the street has like 30 followers, says he's, the way you and that guy have something in common with podcasting, that's the way most people posting about Chris Rock had, you know what I mean? Like, they're only stand-ups in name only. Right. This is a fucking million, two of the most famous guys of all time slapped each other. It was hilarious. Right. It was really fucking funny yeah. that somebody got slapped at the Oscars. Yeah. Some guy who's been publicly cut, who's the most the most beloved man in the world was cucked so hard his brain melted 30 minutes before he was going to win his Oscar. Yeah. Like it, it was incredibly incredible timing. Will Smith has been the most like Scientologist, manicured like yes. public persona. Jada got so much dick on the side that it fucking <laughs> melted his brain and he slapped Chris Rock. Yeah. Mo I mean, he was just going to win his Oscar. Yeah. It was, if that's not fucking funny to you, then what's the, that's hysterical. It's a very funny situation. Hysterical. And it's, but now people are like, you know, we're great truth tellers out there and like, I, yeah. it could be me next. It could, yeah, exactly. Oh, really? It's you next at fucking Magooby's Joke House, <laughs> in, which is my home club. I love it. In Timonia, Maryland. No one is slapping you because you're like, what the, f my, I don't get, my wife doesn't suck my dick enough <laughs> it's like no one is about to slap you you fucking loser i hated that shit because it's like we're complete i i come from a very like comedians or clowns perspective right. right i'm not listen i'm not making any fucking points i'm not a point maker i'm here to have a good ass time you know what i mean just fucking talk about my sexual f like embarrassments like comedians should be getting embarrassed right in many ways ha getting slapped is the most comedian thing possible. The only thing I would have liked is if Chris Rock would have been like, I mean, it, how awesome would it have been if it's like, if he just talked about Jada again, getting a yeah. on the side at the Oscars. That's yeah, the right. only thing that heightens that. If he's like, oh, it smelled like August Alsina's finger. You know what I mean? <laughs> Some, he just said something. Yeah. You know he wanted to in his heart. I saw it. You mm -hmm. can see the like little flicker, because Chris Rock could have done that. Oh, he, he could have just to. eviscerated. 100%. Yeah. He just like, you know, he's like, it was just a big moment, and you know, Can't he's a little too to rich, audience. probably. You yeah, know what I mean, maybe Chris Rock thirty years ago does it, twenty years ago does it, but that's what I'm saying. He's the fucking institution now. He can't, he can't be firing back with the tr with the actual. We actually would person. Yeah. Oh, that would have hurt Will Smith more, even after the slap. <laughs> Like, I'm sure the slap sucked for Chris Rock, but getting sh absolutely shitted on a personal level would have hurt even more. <laughs> Fucking, that whole thing was so stupid. Let's carry on. I would have loved you. I I pray. <laughs> That's the other thing. If you're a real comedian, you should be begging Will Smith to slap you. Yeah, like you be know the greatest much, thing in your it would career. Be the best thing in the fucking world. <laughs> Once you have a, a sales team or 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 clients being like, well, we need segments, so oh, we need totally. we want to sponsor this and a sponsor that, and then it's like, all right, we can we can do that. But it's funnier when we're just like, yo, that you were molested yesterday. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That, I mean, this is we, the body armor molestation <laughs> repressed memory of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally they pop up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does happen. It does happen. One thing I've, I, Hassan actually told me is that, which is fucking hysterical, is that Turks still to this day, the you can get out of military service, but you have to prove you're gay. <laughs> and like, and like, and by the way, they don't count the guy who fucks. As gay, they got tops right. as gay. Yeah. They're like yeah. real old world with it. Yeah. And you, like, what? I was reading this article. It's so fucking funny. They were asking the guy, because he had like a beard, and they were like, yeah. they're like, do you ever wear women's clothing? <laughs> they were like, like they, these motherfuckers do not understand what being gay is. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they wanted him to send a picture of him wearing makeup and women's clothing. Just that's all it is. And he was like, uh, that's not what being gay is. He was like, will you let me send a picture of me kissing a man? And they were like, we'll accept that. <laughs> and there's like a doctor who has to wa look at the pictures and decide if you're gay enough not to be in the, yeah. be in the military. Yeah. There's no tongue. There's yeah, no tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's straight as hell. <laughs> it's so fucking sick. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, fuck, we were talking about... Um, 
about like certain, the, the most homophobic cultures, how they're kind of the gayest. And they're sure absolutely the gayest. What's like crazy to me is, right, like any other group of people, right? Can you imagine like if you had a proof that you were black enough for whatever reason, or you had to prove that you're Mexican enough, or you had to prove that you're Asian enough, whatever, right? <laughs> but yeah, when if you're gay, you run into situations like this. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm Mexican. Like, if I ever if I ever had to send someone a picture of me eating a taco or whatever the fuck, <laughs> how silly would that be, right? But yeah, if you're gay, like, oh, can I can I kiss someone and send you a picture and then have a doctor review it? The fuck? <laughs> you need a medical expertise for that? <laughs> yeah, a, a, a doctor reviewing me eating a taco. Or just whatever, right? Like... <laughs> That's wild. That whole thing is wild. Anyways, let's carry on. Bit about this somewhere. Because so. the idea of <laughs> fucking a man is so outrageous Foreign, that you could that hold you hands can walking down the street, hands, like you could cuddle. kiss, you could do whatever. Yeah. Because of course, none of you guys are gay. Yeah. yeah. Cuddle. Yo, oh, yeah. literally. literally. Uh, they're, not joking. In a lot of cultures, like there's so much more male affection because those cultures don't have a lot of male to female affection. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So they're looking for the touch. They just yeah. want you know, people to be more tactile. And by the way, we're saying like, oh, it's so foreign to them. They're also like 100% molesting boys. <laughs> like, that's another yeah. good point that he brought up. They are getting, that's another you know, good point. That is, that the is, Greek guy would know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, that's in the past. <laughs> yeah. Separate the artist from why, the artist. Why don't you say <laughs> Yo! Have you done that? That's, yeah, I'm working on a that's bit where it's like... That's a fucking funny where bit. Where it's like, well, listen, if, we can, if I can't listen to R. Kelly, then you can't do geometry. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, <laughs> because, <laughs> Michelangelo Bernini. Like, yeah. Well, Bernini's Italian, right? But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, all yeah. these guys had... Every, yeah, Pythagoras. Chorus, all these motherfuckers. Like, you would teach a kid math and then suck him off. Don't do that Dude. fucking uh, thing yeah. where you pronounce it right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you know Pythagoras? Pythagoras. 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 You motherfucker. Did you sorry. just do the... I didn't, mean to. I didn't mean to. I try not to. I say gyro. I don't go yiro. Okay. You know what I mean? I try. Okay. It was just so in my head. But that's a great fucking bit. We use... Not only the math, but we we appreciate the art of yeah. all these dudes that were like banging 100% fucking kids. 100% fucking kids. Where do we where do we draw the line? <laughs> you could use Pythagoras' theorem to draw that line. Yeah. 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 You could use it. Yeah. He actually the angles were little boys' assholes. Yeah. 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 It's a cute. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna be obtuse when I'm done with you. That Vice documentary about like I think it was Colombia, like a whole village. They had a straight up a culture of fucking donkeys like no little shit. boys like that's how they reach sexual maturity that's how they, they show them they're donkeys. like you gotta practice on this donkey Literally, yeah. so that you can make a woman come yeah you yeah. can't no, even try on a woman until you make this donkey come I don't think they're interested in women coming <laughs> I don't think I think if you're in the guy I don't think I think if you're if you haven't made it past bestiality a woman's orgasm is not really at the top of your list <laughs> We'd formally like to invite you to a case race in a, in a future time. A future time I can do. Yeah, we do we do case races on this show. I, I'll do it. Yeah, Shane Gillis is doing the next one with us. Oh, Shane will fucking destroy me. He's a fucking tank. But... Well, it's teams of two. Okay, nice. I'm going to get in there, though. I'll, I'll get back into my, my drinking shape. Drinking yeah. shape. You guzzle beers? <laughs> I, ba I used to. Yeah? I'm, not, I'm more of a weed guy these days. Oh, really? I'm more of a weed and dick pills guy these days. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's my, that's oh, my Lamar Odom? Voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm on the Lamar Odom. Oh, yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> I see if I can stop my heart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there have been some close calls. <laughs> <laughs> like, am I about to die in a fucking Holiday Inn Express in Tampa? <laughs> I wanted to fuck up. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have to get into exactly who it was. But uh, all right, we'll try fucking old lady in Tampa, but that's a story for a different. It didn't work, unfortunately. What do you mean? Your dick didn't work, or fucking? No, no, she wouldn't come back to the to yeah the hotel. We oh. made out on a bench though. <laughs> it was that's far. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Did you get a handsy at all? Uh, a little bit. Um, and how old is old? Don't say 35. Don't say 35. Oh, no, no, no. no. Okay. Come on. She was she was early 60s. Okay. Mid 60s, maybe. <laughs> Pretty old. Here's the thing. She was old. No, she was old. <laughs> Believe me, brother. She was, like, I'll put it this way. After we made out, 
on the way back, my mouth was numb, and I'm pretty sure it was from like denture cream. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Rough. Glue, you're just hot off her denture glue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. How about her? Yeah. What was her body type? What was her? Uh, was, she was loose. She was slim, she, but I will say hips intact. Hips, hips intact. <laughs> there was I didn't I didn't feel a screw. I didn't feel any <laughs> aluminum <laughs> reinforcing it. But I will say I did get a little handsy, and there was like. Where you'd expect firmness, there was a sliding situation. Even though it was just skin, I was like, oh, interesting. This is a different. And I was just like, I was like open. I wasn't headlining or anything. I was opening for Bob, Bobby Kelly, my guy. He's the funniest guy in the world. He, was, he, he would like let me open for him. And he had some friends in Tampa. We'd usually just like hang out and like, you know, get food afterwards. But he had some friends in Tampa. And I was like left to, to my own devices that evening. And this, there was like just. During the show, there was just some fucking idiot that was ruining the show, just being like, woo, ha, like yelling out. It was so annoying. And it was that lady. <laughs> what? Was, oh, no. And then she, like, her friends left her, and she was just alone on a park bench. And I was just talking to her, and I was just, like, literally just killing time until the Uber came. And, but the Uber got lost, and it was like, he was spinning around. It was like 13 minutes. So I'm, like, really chatting up with this woman. And, that, that, in a, and she started giving me, like, the look that, like, you know, a girl gives you when she wants you to kiss her, and then right. I was like, "Oh, I was like, not every old woman is a man. Like, yeah, some of them, some of them, like sometimes whores just get old." <laughs> I want to clarify the old bay comment. All right, because that's like sacred. It is. That's Listen. like angel dust where you exactly. come from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shrimp, crabs, okay. But these bozos up here in Philly, mm. they put it on fucking everything. Okay. No, French crab fries. Fri crab, crab fries are big where we call I love them. You can't. Love. Do you love them? Unimpeachable crab fries. Are you out of your mind? Really? It's a fucking perfect. It's, it's, it's thank ah, you. Kid, what do you. A little bit of cheese on the side. Fuck around with it. A little, yeah, absolutely. If, mm -hmm. you, if you can recreate like a cream of crab soup. <laughs> this guy knows what right, I'm on Team Stavi you for know, now. A little cream, a little cheese, mm -hmm. a little Old Bay. Get that. Look, cause listen, we it's wanna, like a chowder. It's we like wanna, a soup. We want to liven up our fries. <laughs> <laughs> How many, listen, Let the fries live. Who are we kidding? We both shop at the same store, Foley. <laughs> sure. I've seen that shirt on the, on the DXL rack. <laughs> All right? Don't come at me pretending you don't want different variations of fries. <laughs> Thank you. It's not like it's, honest, it's not a fucking, it's not a zero-sum game. Uh -huh. There's, There's a, no need to bring DXL into this. <laughs> they're, they're good people. Stubby. Hey, I love Don't them. hurt him over there. <laughs> Listen, I'm back in, unfortunately. Nine months in a row of touring. I had to dip my toes uh, back into so the DXL. Hard hey, Stubby, yeah. you're so back. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> Grab a sandwich. I'm eating yeah. the dressing room. Yeah. Tony, Stubby's here. DXL. So <laughs> I told you guys, some of you guys have been watching me for a while. I was a big boy at one point, but I wasn't big enough to go there, right? So I remember one time I went to like Walmart, I went to Target, I was looking for a belt. And everywhere I went, they, I couldn't find my size. I was too big. <laughs> so then I went to one, I'm like, do I really need to go to this fucking store? Like I, I felt fucking defeated, right? So I go in there and all their belts were too big. Like, so it's just like, well, fuck me then, I guess. Fuck your boy Chango. Like, what the hell, you know? So shortly after that, it was time. You know, I, I, I felt like I had to get my shit together, and I did. So um, I lost the weight. It took me about two years to get to my goal weight, and then it took me, and then it's been about five years since I hit my goal weight. So I've kept it off for a while. I mean, recently, right this moment, I'm not where I want to be. But I'm within 10, 15 pounds, so it's not not out of hand or anything like that. But I definitely want to get ass for the summer, so I uh, need to need to get some work done. So, anyways, uh, let's. This guy's hilarious, by the way. So let's carry on. <laughs> I'm 31. Wow, you got to tell your face and body. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Baltimore is one of the weirdest places on earth. It's truly bizarre. And I grew up in I grew up in Greektown, which is like a fully isolated like little neighborhood that's like that's like all Greek people and but like it's bordered by the most trash you've ever seen in your life. Like it's totally like yeah, you have like Baltimore white trash, which is 
a beautiful blend of white. <laughs> These are the people who wear the, the, the camo. Red, red, yes, red dude. Camo. Oh, yeah. yeah, baby. The fucking ravings. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Those fucking guys, the guys that are like, yeah, Lamar's good, but something about Flacco that I miss. I can't, <laughs> I can't quite put my finger on it, but yeah. there was something I trusted more about Flacco. Like those fucking guys. Yeah. Traditionally. Yeah, yeah, there was something about him, just a pocket passer. <laughs> this guy's a fucking running back that we're gonna let him throw the fucking ball. Like those guys. Yeah. Um, uh, very. F I love those guys. Those, those, those pants are my favorite thing in sports. Uh, yeah. The purple camo is unbelievable. It's, it, it, I, I don't think that they were the only team that got them. I think that was one of the like NFL initiatives of like the mid-2000s. Yes. We're like okay, our, our merch idea this year because it was like right during the Iraq War. It was yeah, like big, yeah, yeah, big yeah, let's yeah, go yeah, USA so stuff. And they're yeah, like, okay, yeah. we're gonna put out every team's colors yep. in camo shorts. And every other fan base was like, yo, these suck. These stink. And then Baltimore was like, fuck yeah. Baltimore was like, oh, these look pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm about to wear these to my child support hearing after this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we won. Ray won this one. I'm about to keep these for good luck. And that bitch ain't getting a dime of my money. <laughs> like that's. <laughs> I love those guys. A bunch of those guys were all like. Oh my god, they were so funny. There was like counter protests in Baltimore going on when Ray Rice got suspended, which is like, <laughs> is there a more w completely open and shut fuck this guy <laughs> thing we've ever seen in our lives? And these guys were all like, this is fucking bullshit, you know? Put Ray back on the fucking field. It was like, I had, yo, I had a cousin that worked over there at that elevator. Shit didn't go down the way you think it was going worked down, yo. <laughs> yeah, y'all believe anything the fucking media wants to tell you, yo. Like, it's so funny. These fucking idiots. A comic's brain is so different than a, than a pedestrian's brain. And, like, what, you know, like, I can't help. I went pedestrian to a, is so funny, by the way. Oh. Like saying that. <laughs> He's got the guns. I said. I said to a woman. I said to a woman the other it's day. It's better than civilian. Yeah. That drives me crazy. It's like we're not in the fucking armed force. Let's fucking react. Relax. There's a lot of people that, that overuse that they really civilian. Do. It's like we are fucking so lucky we get to do this bullshit. Yeah. Any person on the street, I respect more than even my favorite comic. Let's put. Let's get that out there. Like we 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 give so much less to society than a fucking a janitor. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I know you, but like, but there's a reason we're doing it, right? So, I like, love someone told me, he goes, yeah, but you know what we do? We give that person that's going through the hardest day of their life, we give them a moment of, of yeah, reprise. Yeah. And I go, yeah, but we also send people through the fucking roof. Yeah. We upset <laughs> yeah. people sometimes worse than anyone's yeah. ever upset them so in their right. fucking lives. We never think about the flip side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah we, we got that yeah. one guy that's going through cancer that he's like, oh, yeah. thank God. Yeah. But you got that one black chick yeah, yeah, who yeah, just yeah. stormed out. Oh, Fuck you, you. You've ruined so many people's days. And well, that's the other thing. It's like, yeah, we do that, but let's stop. Here's the thing that drives me crazy with comedians. It's like, that's not why you do it. No. You know what? You do it because it's a lot better than fucking being a paralegal. <laughs> you, know what I mean? yeah. you do it because you can, you can get rich, get pussy, and just never have to fucking write a spreadsheet again for the rest of your life. And no and one's going to yeah. fucking drug test you. Yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. Sleep in, get fucked up. Let's all relax with the... I just do it to put a smile on someone. No, you did it. At least for me, I did it because when I was 19, this is how I got my dick sucked. And then, and then it's been 15 years and I have no other skills. That's why I do it. My mom's English is a lot better than my dad's. My dad's is like, you couldn't even have a conversation with my father still. He's been in the country 40 years. Um, and procrastinating. He's procrastinating. I'm, I'm going to yeah. learn it. I'm going to learn it. He's, yeah, he's speaking at a, I would say, seventh grade level right now. He's like, he's like, he's like, a, it's like talking to a surly middle schooler. <laughs> you little punk ass bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And now, look, you want to talk about lumber? You want to talk about, you know, cabinets? He can talk that. That's the only shit he can talk about. Uh, um, so uh, we're filling out FAFSA, and it's like, um, and they ask you, like, what's your net worth? That's one of the questions. And my mom says zero. And I'm like, no, mom, net. I'm like, I'm like, she doesn't fucking, fucking immigrant doesn't fucking know been in the country doesn't know what net worth means and i'm like no it means how much money we totally have and she's like i know it's zero <laughs> We have no money. Like, I didn't think we had a lot, right, yeah. but we have zero money. <laughs> How the fuck am I even alive? <laughs> it's like, and it's like, it's a testament to her that I'm like, I'm 18 and it never dawned on me that we're, my parents are just massively in debt. I worked at a law firm 
And it, this is my, one of my jobs before I moved to New York because I needed to save up money um, was I, were, I was a paralegal and I didn't know what the law firm was. And it was like this trashy, like Baltimore, like fucking suburb yeah. <laughs> uh, fucking office. And I realized pretty quickly that it was a foreclosure law firm. And they were taking people's houses. And I was like, well, I don't want to be a part of this. Like, this, is after, this is after the like, this is after the housing crisis, which is like people were tricked Kevin into Simon. selling. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. I did. I was, yeah. I was working directly <laughs> yeah, with yeah, 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 collateralized yeah. loans and all that shit. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. like six months into working, I've seen on CNBC like collateralized de debt is the problem. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 like, well, I'll just like stop working and like I'm sure they'll fire me in like three or four weeks, whatever, by the time they figure it out. And I was just like, in the meantime, I'm going to go on two hour lunches. I'm going to be the fucking, you know, the life of the office. Yeah, I'm just yeah, shooting yeah. this shit with everyone. Everyone loved me because I'm not doing work. It's office I'm, space. I'm going you're the around. Guy, you're the joke out. guy. Yeah, you're yeah. the cool guy. And it took them literally like six months to <laughs> And I just literally not, you're not doing anything. I was not doing. This is when I was starting stand up. Like I was pretty early on in my career. I was like doing open mics. I'm just writing shit. My boss would come by. I would hit the like mouse yep. to get the screensaver. But I was lo I wasn't logged in. <laughs> so it would just be like I would, my boss would come in and just be like <laughs> the login log screen. Like it was. I was like I was literally playing like on my cell phone. I was and it was like I wasn't. In, I didn't have an office. I had cubicles out in the open. It was so completely disrespectful. I was begging to get fired, and they just wouldn't do yeah. it. Pushing when you're playing blackjack or any cards or whatever. A push is the worst. Yeah, because you feel nothing. Yeah, like, it'll make me lose. Yeah, make at least me, take my fucking money. Yeah, make me feel like yeah. shit. Spit in my fucking mouth. <laughs> Call me a fucking slut. You know what I mean? It's like that's the That'd equivalent. Be a good casino. Yeah. Every time you lose, <laughs> fucking bitch, I'll take your money away. You fucking little slut. Yeah, you little yeah. bitch. It become a it become a BDSM thing. Absolutely. Tie you up and hit you instead that, of the girl that comes around with like drinks and cigarettes. She's like, you want to be whipped? You're like, yeah. Hit the fuck yeah, out yeah, of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While yeah. I lose this hand. I'm, yeah. Why are you hitting on 19? Just let me fucking Just do it. Tell me my dad's not proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> my dad had a choice. New York, he was 17. New York City or Buffalo. And this is in the 70s. Yeah. And he saw like movies and was like, yeah, I'm yeah. not going to fucking New York. He was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He t let me guess. He had a real Greek perspective on it. He was like, I've seen the movies about Harlem, if you catch yeah, my drift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. He was a little bit like, I want to avoid... Uh, the uh, inner city blacks. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb, it was yeah. so quiet. <clears throat> yeah, gr uh, yeah, Greek uh, racial sensitivity is not... It's certainly in the 70s was not, was exactly. not where it needed to my be. My father, I thought, was racist my whole life, and then he married a black woman. Wow, interesting. Like recently. That doesn't mean he's not <laughs> I, you know, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's very Thomas <clears throat> I think we can go all the way back. <laughs> Strom Thurmond literally had a secret black wife yeah. while he was like, we can't have blacks in schools. What? <laughs> yeah. So I don't think that necessarily takes your dad, your yeah. Greek-ass father off the hook. Roland Park is where I went, right? Mm-hmm. That's a half hour from my fucking yeah. house. So my mom drives me there, drives to work. Like, that's an hour of her day. Takes me. My brothers couldn't get into that. Couldn't get into that one. <laughs> 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 they, they weren't cutting the intellectual mustard. Uh, and and so they had to go to, it's still a pretty good one, southeast, but close to our house. So she's just bouncing That's around. That's my cousins was, yeah. Southeast. <laughs> That's exactly, yeah. exactly where it is. That school's hilarious. My brother, his first day of sixth grade, right? He's like a nervous little, you know, you're still like a, a fat little fifth grader who's like scared. You're like, oh, what's middle school going to be like? First day, he goes to the bathroom. A kid, this kid who had probably failed like four times in a row. He's like 16 years old, an eighth grader who's like got stubble. Who's driving. <laughs> yeah, he sees my brother. He's like, hey, yo, let me get your pants. <laughs> That's his first, his first day in middle school, and my brother just, uh, just fucking sprints, <laughs> sprints back to homeroom, right? The whole fucking. So nine, you're not bro. doing the Bitcoin, the NFTs, all that stuff. All that is bullshit. Okay? Is, you're a fucking dumb bitch. If you have any of that. <laughs> and I want to be very clear about that. You hear that, Ma? Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, there was like we we played like a group of Arab kids that were playing football with us. And they, like, a bunch of them just started fucking us up, like, sucker punched us, and one what? kid cleated me on the fucking face. What? And then my friend, uh, my friend called his brothers, and it was, we were, like, maybe 14, like, the ad was our age, like, we were somewhere between, the ages were, like, 12 to, like, 16, 
and a car full of like 27 year old Greek men with bats came out to just to just like threaten these children. Wow. That's insane. Man. Yeah. Was this pre 9-11? This was it must have been post. It must have been oh, post. Well that yeah. adds to the heatedness with yeah, the Greeks, absolutely. you know. They uh, lost a lot of delis. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Like gambling it's like it's never gonna get like that for me. The way like drugs even. It's like I like drugs, but I'm never I could me quit too. anything cool. I could quit like fucking booze is so easy. Like weed is a lot harder for me. It's it's weed, food, and trying to get my little dick sucked. Those are the three things that I'm just in that like, order. No, no, I think it would go food, pussy, weed, and, and food, pussy, weed. Food is the destroyer for me, dude. Food it's is like, way bigger than pussy. For it's you. Uh, absolutely. But food and pussy together has that been a thing? Love nothing. <laughs> better. She's getting fucking sucked off. The Uber. She's in the Uber. There's a fucking half a cheese stick waiting for me, brother. And I got a fucking ice cream cone in the fridge that got special, you know? That's all you're really thinking about. It's like this, the moment I bust, that's all I'm thinking about. Cheese stick. It's like, it's like the second the evil, the poison is out of my body, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, let's put a different kind of poison in. <laughs> <laughs> one goes out, one goes in. The best ones are not the ones that know the actual facts, because, yeah, in some ways, it's like 9-11 was some fucked up shit. Either they yeah. let it happen or... I I don't even think they had a direct hand because why would you? Mm -hmm. It's just like, yeah, we'll do this and then we'll use it as, oh, this is gonna happen. Don't stop it, I and think then maybe we can, like that, yeah. and then we can go oh. fuck up Arabs for like, like, two decades. Mm -hmm. You know, like we uh -huh. don't give a fuck. The I don't want to know the real reason. What I love is the people that believe the dumbest shit of all time and say it's so, like I love Greek people anti some of the biggest anti semites have you, heard, have you ever heard the one where it's like the trains didn't stop they were taking gold out from underneath yeah. the, the um, <laughs> yeah that shit <laughs> my favorite one is my favorite one that I have heard like old Greek men say not joking yeah. is like you know uh Every Jew called out on 9-11. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, check the records. Every single Jew called in sick. And it's like, really? Uh, you think every Jew was in, just like a Jewish janitor was in on it? <laughs> and they do everyone, believe it. And we have a newsletter that's somehow in, in the Hebrew, so no one else, no one else is, is on there. No, no one warned anybody else. Uh, They're like, the, but I have a buddy who's not Jewish who works there. Yeah, 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 exactly. Keep your mouth shut. Yeah, so no one's married to a non-Jew. Yeah, or right, like, right. Like, <laughs> it's so great. It's, it's great. It's like, how it would that the, work? Like, those know, are the best ones. Where it's like, that's one of the most retarded things I've ever heard mm -hmm. in my life. Do you know Amy Schumer's baby's name? It, she didn't realize that she yeah. did this because she Gene. loves Dave Attell yeah. so much, you know, as we all do. And yeah. then, I think it might be the godfather of her kid or something. But she named her kid. He's the father, actually. Oh, <laughs> David, David's the father. That's right. She named her kind kid. Kind of a George Gene, Siegel, Christie uh, Alley situation. Gene Attell. And then whatever the husband's last name is, Gene Attell. So she was like, he was like two months old. And I was like, I named my kid Genital. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he was two months old that she had to legally change his middle name. She's like, I messed up. That's so yeah. fucking funny. Like, That's, That's, fuck. that. That's gotta hurt a, co a comedian's feelings. It's like, if you're, you're getting bumped from the middle name. <laughs> Dude, but, it's but, Seinfeld now. It's Gene Seinfeld. Gene last Seinfeld. name. Yeah. Uh -huh. Adele, Adele got yeah. bumped. <laughs> She, it, it, it's, it's Gene Red Skelton. Yeah, yeah. It's before he got in trouble, she goes, I'm going to change it to Gene Cosby. Yeah. I'm literally having a flashback of making steaks on the gr grill I put illegally on our balcony oh, in Greek Town. Love that. I had a summer of grilling. Charcoal? Where it was just, it was a gas grill. Okay. This was a gas grill. Even more dangerous, but all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that was my first experience with this dude. And I gotta say, this dude was fucking funny. <laughs> <clears throat> Holy shit. And he just looks like the kind of guy that just doesn't give a fuck. He's got his belly showing. Fucking Siri. <laughs> she doesn't know how to respond to that. <laughs> Wow, that's fucking wild. Fucking shout out to Siri. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, some of the shit he says that comes out of his mouth was fucking funny. Like, and I was saying, like, he doesn't, he looks like he just doesn't give a fuck. He's got his belly showing. He's fucking, what is going on with his hair, his face? Like, this dude is just like, sloppy. But, when I'm trying to get a laugh, I don't give a fuck what they look like, right? I think mean, I think that's why like a lot of comedians, like if there was if if 
if how you looked mattered in the comedy world, you'd have a bunch of jacked comedians, right? Or like really good looking comedians, right? Everybody would look great. Um, but uh, that's not always the case, right? <laughs> Some people just don't give a fuck. Um, but uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit, hit me up with some likes. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit the little notification bell. And then go ahead and comment down below so we can have a conversation. Fucking, um, like I said, I'm new to this guy. So if you have any like specific videos you want to you want to watch me react to, fucking hit me up with a link. I'd be more than happy to check it out because this dude was hilarious. And a lot of you fucks are Joey Diaz fans. I get it. I love him like everybody else. This dude's fucking hilarious. But I just can't have every video be Joey Diaz. I just can't, right? I mean, maybe I could. I could do whatever I want, right? But I like to mix it up a little bit, right? I mean, just bear with me. Like, I, I, I got you. I love Joey Diaz just like everybody else. Bobby Lee, fucking Theo Vaughn. There's like a handful of guys that I just keep coming back to. Um, uh, but anyways, that's all I got. You guys take care. Peace out.